uh, in this video, we're going to learn the basics of using the Lego Spike Prime Color Sensor. And we're going to do that in the context of the Kiki the Dog assignment in the Inventors Unit. We're not going to actually do the part where you tell a story and have it make noises because ours don't connect very well to the PC because we don't have because we don't have Bluetooth available. So we're going to do it a little bit different where we just make the it senses the color and then that's on my camera there and then it uh, displays the color name on the robot. So let's take a look at that. Here we have one that's built. I've removed the ears from the dog so that we can actually see what the screen is doing because like I said, in the version of this what we're gonna be doing, it's a little different than what Lego wants you to do. So um, in that version, we're gonna be displaying the color name that it detects on the screen. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do is we need to, let's get in here and get ours connected, huh? So I'm gonna turn my hub on so that Spike can detect it. You might have to click the connect button and do that if you're working on a web browser on the laptops. I'm not going to do that. All right, here we're plugged in and I can tell I'm plugged in because it's giving me color sensor readings. This is what we want. Now what I'm going to do is we can click this and you can look a little bit more closely once you're connected. But we can see right here, let's see if I can make that bigger. No, I can't. So right here you can see this. And as I move it around, I want to show you guys, let me see. If I can get the robot on the camera too. Okay, so look up here at this picture and I'm gonna first turn the robot so it's not pointing at any of the bricks. It's not pointing at the green, the red, or the blue. And look what reading we get on the color sensor. We get a white one with an X with a slash through it. That means that right now this detector is not getting any reflective reading off of this object. And that makes sense because it's now pointing at nothing. We'll see what happens if I put my finger there. That's detecting it, but it's not probably getting an accurate color reading. Okay, now watch what happens. We gotta do this to make sure your sensor is actually set up correct and working. And by the way, if you plugged it into port A or port F, it should say right here, mine's into port F, right? Okay, so let's take a look. And I'm gonna turn this and point it at the green. And look what happened. That little dot turned green. That means it's working. I'm gonna put it in between right here so it's not pointing at any color. There we get the no reading, the, the little slashed out marker. Then we're gonna to go to red. Hey, look, it turned to red, that's great. The little dot turned to red. And we go to nothing and then over to blue. Okay, now we know our color sensor is actually hooked up and working correctly. And you can see this little line, it's like, hey, we're getting data from this to the brick. Okay. So I'm going to close this, don't disconnect. And you can see it's still up here. You can also see that same information on the color when you turn it at the top right here. It'll show up if you're connected. If not, you need to connect to it. Hey man, now for this next part, we're going to start coding. We have three miniature programs to put into one. Do yourself a favor, be nice to yourself. Take this thing one step at a time. So basically teach it to detect one of the colors and then test it to see if it works. Then you add another color and I'll teach you how to do that and see if that works. Then you add the third one and you see if that works. And if it does, then you're pretty much done with the assignment and you need to show me your code and show me that it works for a grade. Okay, so let's get on that right now. Let's do some programming. I'll go to this view where we can see everything. You can see me, the robot. Uh, make this a little bigger. Okay, so here we go. I'll put this center, I need to make my camera a little bit adjusted. Okay, that's probably about as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so let's get started. Um, oops. Okay, so when the first, uh, when the program starts, what we're gonna do first is we are going to do a forever loop. We want this to run over and over again, all right? And let's put a label up here first. Right click it and add comment. And this first one is going to detect green only, just green. And I'm gonna put green there so now I know what it is. So I know that this program detects green. 
And this doesn't do anything for the robot, it just tells you what's what, so you don't get confused. Okay, first of all, we're gonna, we wanna detect and wait until the color is green. So you go to sensors and that's what that is. And it's sensing the color. Hey, look at this. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one, sorry. So we're gonna go and we're gonna grab wait until, so it's gonna, the robot's gonna wait until something happens. And then we're gonna go up here and that's under control. And then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna grab this one. The color sensor in port F, hey, that's where mine is. If yours is different, you need to change this. The color sensor in port F is gonna look for color and we're gonna wanna change this to green. I think that's green, I'm colorblind, I hope I'm right. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, okay. And then we're going to go, hey, what we're going to do is we're going to put a message on the screen. And so what you're going to do is go down here to light. And we're going to change the lights on the screen. And we're going to go to M1 write hello and drag that out and change hello to green. I'm going to use capitals. I think it might be better. Green. Okay. You ready? Now we got to see if it works. Nothing should happen yet because it's pointing at the red one right now. Let's change it so it's pointing now at the green one. Look at it, it says green, E, E, N. Hey, our program worked. Let's stop our program. And now the problem is we run it, it sees green and it only does it once. I want it to keep going and show green forever until it changes to something different. So let's go back to our code. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. No, you can't see it better. Uh, let's go back to our code. Maybe you can zoom. No. No, I don't think you can. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna go down to control and we're gonna do a forever loop. And you're gonna put that right above here so it wraps around all of this. Now what that's gonna do is, it's gonna wait till it sees green, print green, and start again. Wait till it sees green, print green, wait till it sees green, print green. And if it stays on green, it's gonna keep doing that. So let's put it over here, off into pointing at nothing. Press play. Sees green. Okay, let's see if it keeps doing it. Green, green. You know what, I think I'd like some capital G and lowercase letters for the rest. I think I'm gonna change that. I think I like that better. I don't like the way it looks right now. If you don't, if you like the way it looks, you can keep yours, but I'm gonna change that to R-E-E-N, lower, lowercase. Okay, cool. My program now works for green, but it doesn't work for the red or the blue bricks. So here's what you're gonna do. Save yourself time. The code for the other colors are exactly the same, except you right click, duplicate it, and you're gonna run another program and change the, the label on this one to red. And you're gonna change the color here that it's looking for to red also. And remember, we're doing one step at a time, so we're gonna check our code right now. Let's put it over here off into nothing. So it's running two programs at once. The robot can handle it, don't worry. Green works. Oh no! I forgot to change the text to red. Here, let's stop. R, E, D, sorry about that. Let's run it again. Should say green, there it is. Switch to red. There's red, back to green. Back to red. Let's go to blue, nothing, nothing. But we're gonna change that right now, aren't we? I hope. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. We'll stop our program. We're gonna right click and duplicate. We're gonna change this one to blue. Now, Mr. Woodchuck has problems telling blue from purple or, or any of these others. Um, let me pause this and I'll get some help. Hey, thanks for uh, one of my students helped me out <laughs> and uh, told me that this one is actually blue and I need to change the text to B-L-U-E, blue. Please don't misspell the color names for goodness sakes. Look it up if you don't know it. And we're gonna press play.
Blue, it works. Red works. Green works. And let's go back to blue. Blue works. Red, green. And I want to test it out like many different ways just to see if there's anything that can break it. But I think this is rock solid. Do you know what you need to do now? Now you need to save your code. So let me show you how to do that just in case we lose it. We don't want to lose this for tomorrow. You did a lot of work. So let's go save as. And then you can direct it to, I would put it in maybe your documents. And you can key key colors or something like that. And then you'll have it for tomorrow in case we need it again or for some other time. And of course, after you download your code, I, I don't need to download any more code to this because it's working. I can easily disconnect it and, um, you know, try it out. And it should go blank whenever, after it says the name, if it's not looking at one of the colors, it should go blank. Ooh, it doesn't, did it think my, my ooh, it, it thought my, my, oh, it's reflecting some light off of there. See if I do that over here, it does blue. No, oh, guess not. Well, it is working. I don't know why, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't detect the color of my finger or whatever. So, hey, we've got the thing working. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get this done right away.